Hammond II is an elite rarity destroyer from the Eagle Union, and is part of the Edsel class of destroyer escorts. She's currently only available from the parallel superimposition event at a construction timer of 15 minutes. Hammond II was originally laid down on the 10th of July, 1942 as Langley. Launched from the Consolidated Steel Corporation on the 13th of December, 1942 as Hammond, commissioned on the 17th of May, 1943, decommissioned on the 24th of October, 1945, stricken on the 1st of October, 1972, and was sold for scrap on the 18th of January, 1974. Hammond did the usual tasks an American destroyer did in the Second World War. Here are her more interesting exploits. Screened and escorted supply ships to the European theater of war. Saved 70 survivors of the SS Lone Jack after it was hit by a torpedo. Used as a training vessel in Guantanamo Bay. Was possibly the subject of the Philadelphia experiment, not Eldridge. In her character art, Hammond wears a white and black shoulderless made uniform with a short red tie that has white stripes. A clear rain jacket with elbows and with a Hammond pink cat tag on it, white thigh highs with garter belts, a hairband with cat ears, and black leather boots with red soles and glowing paw prints on the bottom. Her rigging consists of two depth charge launchers attached to the back of her boots, with some depth charges being launched into the water, both having cats on the sides. A single barrel naval cannon gun in her left hand, a triple torpedo launcher behind her, and two armatures to her left and right, both with armor and what appears to be either naval cannons or AA guns. Beneath her is water, beside her are computer windows, and above her are skies and clouds. In her voice lines, voiced by Asuka Ito, who also voices Ark Royal in San Diego and Azure Lane, and PPK in Girls Frontline, Hammond 2 is still a tsundere. At level 125 with max affinity and enhancements, Hammond has 1,694 HP, 82 firepower, 375 torpedo, 255 AA, 226 reload, 271 evasion, light armor, 25 speed, 218 accuracy, 55 luck, 232 anti-sub, and consumes 9 oil. Hammond has two skills and an AOA, 
with the skills focusing on planes. Hammond's first skill, Flagship Cover, Hammond, at level 10, while Hammond is afloat, Carrier Airstrike Damage, plus 15%, and Carrier's Take, minus 25% less damage. The Airstrike buff doesn't stack with Air Raid Assistance, and the Defense buff doesn't stack with Hammond 1 skill, Flagship Cover. Her second skill, Cautious Caprice, at level 10, buffs her own firepower and AA by plus 15%. For every two enemy planes shot down within the Vanguard Fleet's AA circle, Hammond takes minus 2% less damage, stacking up to four times, or a max of minus 8% damage taken until the end of battle. Her AOA looks like this, being progged every 10 times she fires her main guns. With the amount of projectiles that her AOA spews out, you're fine either standing still or moving around, because you're bound to hit something with that hail of bullets. The recommended equipment for Hammond is the twin 100mm Type 98 Kai HAGM for the destroyer gun with a low reload time and the best DPS against light and heavy armor, the rainbow 533mm Quint Mag Torpedoes for the best homing torpedoes, the twin 57mm L60 Bofors for the best general use AA gun, the repair toolkit for more survivability and passive healing, the Intel Report Arctic Stronghold to take less damage from Sirens and for an HP boost, and the Dual Swords for a buff to Firepower, Evasion, and the chance to do a Slash Attack. You can also equip her with the Hedgehog for stages with Submarines. Hammond 2 excels when she's in an aircraft carrier-focused fleet. Given that her S1 buffs the damage all carriers do, as well as making them take less damage, with her S2 further aiding the main fleet by buffing her own AA to take down enemy planes, and reducing the damage she takes to ensure that she stays afloat longer. Her AOA fires a ton of projectiles, and when fully limit broken, she gains a ghost depth charge. You may struggle to keep Hammond 2 along with those carrier buffs afloat due to how comparatively weak she is, meaning that she'll be likely relegated to the middle position of the Vanguard fleet if you do decide to use her. The buffs that she applies to herself, especially the damage reduction from shooting down planes, are on the smaller side to say the least, and expires when the battle ends. Overall, Hammond 2 can be a nice addition to your carrier-focused fleet if you want your airstrikes doing more damage and your carriers taking less damage but you do need to shield and possibly heal her in later stages if you want that damage buff and defense buff. Medium priority to build. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter for updates, and please check out my other Arknights and Girls Frontline videos as well.